Hello, this is Mesh, and welcome to some gameplay of a title that's in very early stages of its development. I believe it is called Fetch, but it's spelt F-E-J-D. I think uh, this, it's game. It's a it's going to be an online game, um, MMO kind of survival around North North mythology. So that name um, is obviously in a different language, but I believe it's pronounced Fetch. This is called Fetch anyway. So you can download this game. I'll provide a link in the description if you want to. Um, I have played a little bit, so I know the basics, but let's progress and I'll show you the basics and um, hopefully I'll get to a good point here. So with the things on the ground, first of all, there's some flaming enemies over there. So let's avoid those. But there's stuff on the ground. See, we can pick up the stone here. So we have a little inventory. So we, I guess it's the basic survival concept here of um, make basic tools, make a, somewhere to survive, a, a house accommodation, um, somewhere to keep you safe and warm. Because the bottom left is your health. And the biggest thing that seems to kill you, apart from um, being killed by the flaming guys, there are some trolls around, I believe. Um, so you got to avoid those. And the other thing is if you're out at night, you do slowly die because of um, hypothermia, the cold. So the thing is, is to get something organized um, and get stuff ready before it starts getting nighttime. Um, this is a waystone. So it reminds me of home. I don't know if that if I die, though I then respawn here. I'm not 100% sure of the purpose of the waystone as yet, but that would be my assumption. Okay, so we need some sticks and some more, possibly some food. Ah, here's a mushroom here, so pick this up. Mushroom. Here's a stick, okay. So basically at the moment, just fetching. Um, there's a, I have killed one of those deer before. Um, being in the such early stages, the deer was running straight at a tree and I, I could, I just smashed it with a hammer. Um, but yeah, so that's a good source of food. So you can make a fire, make... Oh, there's a, there's a troll. We need to run away. We don't have anything crafted yet, so ultimately um, I can fight it and probably die. Interesting as well, if you're going to pick up this game, um, the key to survival at night time is really the fire for the, your warmth, and also because those... Uh, what are they? Cave trolls or tree trolls, whatever they are, are afraid of fire. So you have a fire and you're good to go. Let's try and weave these stones. Hopefully it'll slow it down. Okay, let's see if we can actually make anything here. So eyes for inventory. There we go. So I can craft this stone axe here, but I do need a hammer. So I'll do this because then I can make a table. Okay, so there we go. So now I should be able to. The menu system is definitely clunky and needs a bit of work, but it, it, it is there. It is functional. So if you click on there, so we can see we can actually sculpt the landscape around us. So we can smash this down here and make a little flat area. Is this a good point, a place to stay? Um, maybe, maybe not. But I kind of just want to get a fire organized for the nighttime because I'm going to assume it's going to get dark soon. So if we get a fire, we should be safe. So what else we can do with this is if we cycle between one and two, see on the bottom there, it says one, is, one out of 16 is clear terrain. Um, and we just keep going, cycling between one and two. So I press two and it just cycles up. Not the best system, but it's, it's functional. So there we go. We've got a few uh, fire there. So now when it comes to nighttime, we shouldn't be too bad. We should be able to survive a little bit. We could probably, I think I need some more stone, some more sticks to continue on that one. Can I actually, no, I see flashing there. So we need um, three sticks and four stones to do that. But at least we have a fire here now. So we can hide that. Is R to hide. There we go. So we need more sticks and more stones. That sound there. Oh, there it is. The deer there over there. See? Try not to startle it. So you can get quite close. See how close we can get. Ooh, getting really close. I'll try and not annoy it because I might be able to craft a a um a hitting stick, a stone axe. There we go. Right. So we've got a stone axe. Now let's try and see if I can. 
get that deer for some food. Okay. Here, another one of those rolls. Okay. Ooh. Don't know what the. Um, oh, oh! See how they run into the trees. Ah, yes, he's stuck. He's stuck. Got him. <laughs> so that's clearly a little bug, but anyway, use what you can, right? Now we've got a whole lot of meat that we can cook on my fire. So this is going quite well. So let us get another couple of things here. So we've got mushrooms, some more stones, some more sticks, and we can even start knocking down. Let's just want to find a fire again wherever it is. Okay, there it is. Cool. So we can even knock down a tree of this caliber of this stature knock it down well, hopefully we don't f knock it down upon us Ooh, there it goes cool so down it is and now we can smash it a little bit more and it should uh, obviously that uh, bar next to the character there is the kind of stamina uh, okay so there we go don't roll down the hill oh look there's a um spawn point down there so if I die maybe I'll get that little spawn point I believe there is spawn point is this the same spawn point yes it is waystone I'm not 100% sure what that's all about there's very little information on this game um, check into the website the developer so the developer is a, a individual guy called Richard Svensson I believe he's done previous uh, another game before I couldn't find any information apart from the it was he was developing it and then it seemed to disappear so i don't know what it could with that one but this one is you know this is in a point where give it a couple more months and you could probably release this onto steam early access so there we go as well the um we can add fire to the uh, fuel to the fire add some wood if we so wish but let's get that workbench sorted so back to the inventory oh we've even got a hide excellent okay so go to the hammer back to the hammer and Ooh, we can make that bench let's put it let's put it here so we can look out on a, on a nice vantage viewpoint there whilst we craft on our crafting table so what else we can make so we can make um, a bit of a fence there which should be might be good because when I've come across the, the trolls um, they do see how they actually see you is I guess a point of question do they see is it on how close you are to them or is there an actual visual range to them it seems to be visual so if I so if I put some uh, uh, fence over here I can't actually because I'm out of resources but as you can see there's one of them coming over here okay so I'll get my hammer out so he probably won't come very close because of the fire which is very good but it's running low on fuel so I do need to chop down some of the stuff I think as well sound does set them off Interested to see if he comes across. Okay, pick up some wood. Yeah, so here he comes. So he won't come closer than about there, and then he runs away. He doesn't like the fire. So that's really cool. It does force you to kind of stay close to that, stay close to the safety of the fire, and it gives me a chance there to really give him the beat down as he runs away. Um, I think anything they drop as well is a stone. Okay, come back. And another point as well, this game is meant to be online. Um, when I played it previously, it said it was offline. But at the moment, if I press tab, you can see there it does say it's online. Um, so it will be interesting to see. It says as well, top right, it says con one. I'm assuming that's my connection. Um, Oh, there we go. He hit me back. Uh, let me just retreat a little bit back here. See my fire. Hey. They do take quite a beating. But then saying that this is basic weapons, right? This is just a stone axe. There he goes. He's dead. And he drops. They drop a stone when they die. And uh, is there another one around? It looks like there's one down the bottom there. But that's fine. As long as we keep the, the fire... Yeah, well, nice topped up with fuel. Should be okay. Another another one to the right there. But they seem to be seems to be keeping his distance. That's fine. Okay. Go back over here. 
fuel is good. So what else can we make on this on this workbench? Yeah, once again, interface is is a little flaky. Um, it would be better to, to see it a bit easier than this. Um, I mean, it, it's probably something you would get used to, admittedly. Um, let's put a little fence around this place. Go. Even joins up nicely there. See how it kind of um, automatically latches on. There, no, as I stuffed it up. Okay, there we go. Back it up. Gee, let's go this side. Okay, missing resources. I'm out of resources again. What else can we build? So we can build fence, small fence. So top of a roof, center of a roof, the thatch and stuff like that. Wooden floor, wooden pole, wooden stairs, and a bed. So that'd be good to get that in there, because I believe that is a spawn point if I die. But once again, out of resources. So let's change back to my weapon. Actually, what I can do, change back to my weapon, but I, I can also, I can make a torch. Oh, there we go, cooked meat, right. So you just need to be close to the fire, and then we can craft it. So there we go, craft, cooked meat. Another one, and it's yummy. A jummy. So we can make this torch as well, which is a good way to keep um, exploring and safe. So see, I can walk around here. These things do not bother me. So whilst I can't chop down trees, um, I can go around collecting resources because I should be safe, at least from the, um, the grey dwarfs. And there is a lot of wood around generally. Which you can should be able to see. There we go. There's a little bit of wood, a little bit more wood. So I could just do this, run around at night time. It is a good way to um, continue collecting resources and be safe. Stones, stones, good. More stones and more wood. Get away from me. It, it's it's a really good way because it is. You know they don't even bother. I mean they run up to you, it keeps you on your toes, but they just don't touch you. So it is quite it is. Very sensical in that manner. There we go. Um, wood, wood. And the for I guess the ongoing development for this. The website um, for this game, Fetch, if you want to call it Fetch, which sounds it seems to be quite sensical. Um, there is very little of how the developer actually wants to progress and and what they what they aim to um, add in the future. I mean, one could assume, obviously, they're going to polish off what they've already got here. And probably just continue with, you know, more inventory and um, some basic stuff like that. But it would just be good to get an official stance as to how, how they see the game progressing. Um, it is an active website, though. Checking it today, there's been already been multiple up updates because of the feedback that he, that he has received. Um, so it is good to see that, that it is active, but it would just be good to see, you know, maybe... A, a plan of attack what the what he's planning to do for the game going forward because whilst this game um it's very interesting it's a very nice twist on this kind of survival being in, in a north mythology like it is it would be good to get more of an idea what other interesting or unique ideas he wants to implement um, because there's so many survival games right they're all just kind of blur into a massive pot of the steam abyss but um it would be good to get you know no reason why oh, look there's some flame goes no reason why um that we should spend our time playing this and invest our time in a game like this if there's going to be nothing unique about it um apart from the obvious north mythology so i gotta watch out for the flame guys i don't know how to fight them at the moment um i assume one would fight them with a bucket of water but I don't know if we can craft a bucket of water. So I shall leave this little video here. Let me know how you found it. I will continue in my travels within this game as well. I do want to complete the shelter. So stay tuned for more footage of this game coming out very soon. But until next time, this is Mesh and I'll see you later.